channel well today I've got the gonks with me that they wanted to interview you so what could I do but they're all gonna ask you one question so I hope you're up for this pixie thanks Jackie I'm looking forward to this late on me gonks come on what you got okay Papa gonk you're first what's your question for pixie why are you known as pixie That's an easy question, Papa Gong. What it was, and back in my school days, uh, one of my friends noticed that my ears were all a bit squashed, and uh, they said, oh, they look like pixie ears. So I was looking for a name for my YouTube channel, and I thought, what can I have that's a little bit different? And I thought, my old uh, nickname from school. So hence, that's what I call Pixie's Channel. So now you know. Ah, so there you know. I don't think I'd use that technique to name my channel. Not with these. <laughs> right, next question. Gavin, what's your question? What started your interest in drones? Good question, Gavin. Ah, uh, Gavin. Interesting question, young man. Well, uh, one of his friends... Oh, well, we went to see one of his friends and uh, never seen a drone, never heard of a drone. But he had a draw. <laughs> so um, one day he says, when we went to go and see him, he says, do you want to have a go with drone? And I went, yeah, why not? And that was it. Since then, I've been hooked. Love drones. Absolutely love them. So yeah, that's how I got onto uh, flying drones or got interested in drones. The next question is from Kevin. What do you want to know, Kevin? How often do you go out with the Yorkshire drone seekers? Very good question, that, Kevin. But what it was, um, we used to go out every Sunday, uh, Sunday morning, early doors, for the sunrise. Um, yeah, once, basically once a week, because the other two guys, who uh, was part of the Yorkshire drone seekers, well, they were um, working during the week. Well, I was working at the time as well. So we were all working during the week and that was the only day we could get because I like to watch football on a Saturday when the football was happening. So basically, yeah, early doors for the sunrise on a Sunday morning. That's when we went out. But uh, nowadays it's just we can't because of the lockdown. So we're stuck indoors and before the lockdown started i used to start going out during the week because i left my job to look after mrs pixie so yeah i, I was going out during the week on my own and then meeting up with the yorkshire drone seekers on a sunday morning reckon you should go out more with them kevin right next question from gordon what's your question gordon who got a YouTube channel first, you or Mrs Pixie? <laughs> well, Gordon, that is an easy answer to that one. I had the channel first, little old me. Um, Jeanette was second. Uh, two reasons why she got a YouTube channel is basically one, a mother... Uh, passed away and she was feeling a bit down and she thought oh, I would kind of get around and keep myself busy and keep my mind busy and everything and basically what it was I was doing a live stream one day and Jeanette walked past the camera and somebody said oh who's that? I said oh it's my wife she's got a YouTube channel she said no well she better go and get one so basically that's what she did so then she started doing a baking video, well she started doing daily chat videos and then went into baking videos and then also went into oh, the, 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 the live streams as well so yes yeah, she's really enjoying it she loves it um my channel uh, i think i started that was about two or three years ago for Jeanette my channel i think i started around oh a long time ago i forgot to look <laughs> i think it was 2011 think because we just got Benny the cat and that was my first channel or first video I put on my channel just 
Benny sat in the window just and he hears me going, Benny! It's only about a five second clip. So yeah, I think that's how I got started on YouTube. Good question. Okay, Grandpa's question now. What movie are you most proud of producing? Well then, Grandpa, that's a good question as well. What are my favourite videos that I have produced? I've got two, and they're both drone videos. My favourite, favourite one is of Clipstone Colliery. Absolutely love that one. That was done with the Mavic Pro. Well, they're both done by the Mavic Pro, actually. And also, when I went out to surprise view with the Yorkshire Drone Seekers, and... Uh, yeah, I enjoyed that one a lot. That was a good one. Really enjoyed that one. So yeah, those are my two favourite videos. What's your question, Granny? Have you always lived in Sheffield? Well then, Granny, that is a very interesting question. No, I haven't always lived in Sheffield. Uh, when I met Jeanette, um, after a very short space of time, we or I moved <laughs> into Jeanette's and we were living in a little place called Sutton and Ashfield, which is a little village outside uh, Mansfield. And then we moved to, where is it, Great Yarmouth, if I can remember. <laughs> We had several properties in Great Yarmouth, all rented. Uh, well, let me just look at, look at my little list that I've written down. First place we moved to was Martham. That proved to be a little bit expensive. Uh, it was um, a lovely house, front and back gardens, and two or three bedroomed house. Absolutely beautiful place, but the area was a bit... Mm, and the house was nice, but the area... area <laughs> a bit, mm, bit dodgy, a bit... Mm. So then we moved to Belton, so I'm looking down a big piece of paper. <laughs> then we moved to a house called, uh, 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 to a place called Belton. That was a nice-ish area, but the people were a bit... So, um, oh, I've missed out Borough Castle before that. We went to the one, uh, the three-bedroom flat in Borough Castle in Great Yarmouth. But you had to get up some stairs to the flat. And that was no good. Then we moved to Belton. Uh, like I said, the area was alright, but the piece was a little bit rough. So we moved out of there and we moved into Caister. Um, lovely little seaside village. The sea, uh, the sea front was literally about five minutes walk away from our house. I absolutely loved it. But we were right bang opposite at a holiday park, a kind of place. Uh, which wasn't great because sometimes in the summer, play the music full blast on the stereos and stuff like that but apart from that yeah I absolutely loved it down there the reason why we came back to Sheffield was uh, I think we, uh, a stepdad was poorly and stuff like that so yeah we all moved back in, to Mansfield first back into Sutton in Ashfield uh, not Sutton in Ashfield we moved back to Huthwaite and then after a while uh, a mum passed away and everything and then we went to come to Sheffield and we've been here ever since love it basically two minutes from Sheffield city centre in car and ten minutes walking great stuff I bet we know what team he's supports then right what's your question mama how are the three pixels coping with lockdown? Hi Mama, a very very good question, yes, the lockdown, how we're coping. Oh, we're alright for the first week or two. No, it's just boring, you can't get out, or I can't get out anyway. Callum can't go to college, so unfortunately Mrs P is stuck with both of us until we go on his daily walk, which is not good, we decide to have the estate or up the park. It's not good at all. So yeah, we, she's getting a bit fed up with us at the moment. <laughs> so until this lockdown's uh, in place, I'm afraid she's stuck with us. So uh, what can you do? Know? 
And Pip, what's your question? What is the best thing Mrs Pixie has ever baked you? Pip, that's a very easy question to answer. And of course it's a lemon drizzle cake. But we've got the white chocolate cookies that's coming a very, very, very close second. So yes, lemon drizzle cake. <laughs> And final question from Ruby. Will you come on holiday to Spain and visit us? She means to stay here in Spain, not actually with us. Well, Ruby, yes, of course we'd like to come and visit you. Yeah, that'd be absolutely awesome to spend a week or two in Spain. Shouldn't be old uh, six pack, pack up. Just a bit relaxed at the moment. But uh, yeah, me, me, Mrs P and Karen would love to come and uh, build some sandcastles on the beach with you. That'd be awesome. Well, thanks for answering those. I hope you survive being grilled by the gonks. Right, thank you very much Jackie and the gonks as well. That was, that was uh, very, very tense and some very hard questions. But we got there in the end. Thank you very much guys. And I really enjoyed myself. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye. See you next time. Bye.